Appendix A Coding and Reimbursement Disclaimer This publication is designed to provide accurate and authoritative information in regard to the subject matter covered. It is sold with the understanding that neither the author nor the publisher is engaged in rendering legal, accounting, or other professional service. If legal advice or other expert assistance is required, the services of a competent professional should be sought. The views expressed in this publication are strictly those of the authors and do not necessarily represent official positions of the American Hospital Association. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Clinical coding systems. Clinical coding systems add a distinct alphanumeric value to medical diagnoses, procedures and surgery, signs and symptoms of disease and ill-defined conditions, poisoning and adverse effects of drugs, and complications of surgery and medical care. The coding systems serve an important function for physician reimbursement, hospital payments, quality review, benchmarking measurement, and the collection of general medical statistical data. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Reimbursement. Reimbursement is based on claims and documentation using medical diagnosis and procedure codes. Depending on type of provider and payer, different combinations of coding systems are used to reimburse providers. The coding systems used currently in the United States are IC 9 cm diagnosis codes to be replaced by IC 10 cm. IC 9 cm procedure codes to be replaced by IC 10 PCS. Current procedural terminology CPT and Healthcare Procedure Coding System HCPCS Level 2 Codes Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association All rights reserved Reimbursement Continued Essentially all providers and payers use the ICD, ICD 9 cm to be replaced by ICD 10 cm system for diagnosis reporting. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act HIPAA, has designated different standards for procedure reporting. ICD 9 cm Volume 3 codes to be replaced by ICD 10 PCS are the standard for hospitals reporting inpatient surgery and procedures. CPT and HCPCS are the standards for hospital reporting of outpatient procedures and for the reporting of all physician and other non-hospital provider services. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid Reimbursement. Medicare and Medicaid are federal programs managed by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services CMS. They have different payment models based on the provider. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid Reimbursement, Physicians and Non-Hospital Providers Physicians and other providers slash suppliers are reimbursed for services rendered to Medicare beneficiaries on a fee-for-service FFS basis. CMS develops these fee schedules for physicians, ambulance services, clinical laboratory services, and durable medical equipment, prosthetics, orthotics, and supplies. The fee schedules are driven by the CPT or HCPCS codes. Diagnosis codes may be used to determine coverage for medical necessity. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid Reimbursement, Hospitals. Hospitals are reimbursed on a prospective payment system, PPS, basis. Payment is made based on a predetermined, fixed amount. Payment amount is based on the classification system of that service. CMS uses separate PPSS for reimbursement based on the type of facility, such as acute inpatient hospitals, 
Hospital Outpatient Services Long-Term Care Hospitals Home Health Agencies Skilled Nursing Facilities, etc. Copyright 2012-2014 by American Hospital Association All Rights Reserved Medicare and Medicaid Reimbursement Hospitals Acute Inpatient Hospitals Under Inpatient PPS each inpatient admission to an acute inpatient hospital is categorized into a diagnosis-related group DRG. Each DRG has a payment weight assigned based on average resources used to treat Medicare patients. DRGS group clinically similar patients using similar resources. Each inpatient admission can be grouped to only one DRG. DRGS were refined in 2007 and are now renamed as MSDRGS. Secondary diagnoses may either be a complication slash comorbidity CC, a major complication slash comorbidity MCC, or a non-CC. The presence or absence of a CC may affect DRG classification. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid reimbursement hospitals. Hospital Outpatient Services Hospital Outpatient Services, certain Part B services, and partial hospitalization services furnished by community mental health centers are classified into groups called Ambulatory Payment Classifications or APCs. Services in each APC are similar clinically in terms of the resources they require. Services are assigned to APCs based on similar clinical characteristics and similar costs. Each APC has a payment rate. Payment rate and co-payment apply to each service within the APC. Hospitals may be paid for more than one APC for an encounter. New services may be assigned to new technology APCs. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid reimbursement, hospitals. Hospital Outpatient Services continued. Most hospital outpatient services are paid separately, including most surgical, diagnostic, and non-surgical therapeutic procedures, blood and blood products, most clinic and emergency department visits, some drugs, biologicals, and radiopharmaceuticals, brachytherapy sources, and corneal tissue acquisition costs. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid reimbursement, hospitals, hospital outpatient services continued. Partial hospitalization is paid on a per diem basis. Payment rate depends on the number of individual services provided on one day. Payment represents the expected cost of a day of intensive care in the outpatient department, or of extensive mental health care in a community mental health center. Within each APC, payment for ancillary and supportive items and services is packaged into payment for the primary independent service. Separate payments are not made for a packaged service. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid reimbursement, hospitals, inpatient psychiatric facilities. Inpatient psychiatric services furnished in the hospital and exempt units are paid by Medicare on a per diem PPS. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid reimbursement hospitals, inpatient rehabilitation facilities. Inpatient rehabilitation facility IRF, PPS uses information from the patient assessment instrument IRF -PI, to classify patients based on clinical characteristics and expected resource needs. Payment is determined using case mix groups CMGS. A separate payment is made for each group. Payment is calculated on a per discharge basis. The IRF pie requires an etiologic diagnosis as well as secondary diagnoses. 
Etiologic diagnosis refers to the original problem leading up to the condition requiring rehabilitation. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid reimbursement, hospitals, long-term care hospitals. The Medicare PPS for long-term care hospitals LTCHS, applies to hospitals that have an average inpatient stay of greater than 25 days. They are paid on a per-discharge system with a DRG based system. The DRGS are referred to as MSLTC DRGS. DRGS are driven by the principal diagnosis, secondary diagnoses, and procedures. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid reimbursement. Hospitals. Critical access hospitals. Critical access hospitals cause, have their own regulations and separate payment methods from other types of hospitals. To quality as a CA, the following criteria must be met. Location in a rural area more than a 35-mile drive from the nearest hospital or CA. Or more than a 15-mile drive in mountainous terrain or only over secondary roads. No more than 25 inpatient beds. Average annual loss of 96 hours or less. Cause are not subject to inpatient or outpatient PPS. Choice of standard payment method or optional payment method. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid reimbursement, hospitals, home health agencies. Home Health Agencies has, are paid by Medicare on a predetermined base payment. It is adjusted for the health condition and care needs of the beneficiary. This is referred to as the case mix adjustment. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid Reimbursement, Hospitals, Hospice. Medicare pays hospice agencies a daily rate for each day a beneficiary is enrolled in the hospice benefit. These payments are made regardless of the amount of services furnished on a given day. Payments are intended to cover costs that the hospice incurs. Payments are made based on level of care required to meet beneficiary and family needs. Routine home care. Continuous home care. Inpatient respite care. And General Inpatient Care. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Medicare and Medicaid Reimbursement, Hospitals, Skilled Nursing Facilities. Skilled Nursing Facilities SNFS, are paid by Medicare on a per deemed basis. Payments cover all costs. Routine. Ancillary. Capital. Per deem payments are case mix adjusted. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved. Commercial payer reimbursement. Commercial payers determine their own rules for payment and reimbursement. Payment is based on fee schedules or negotiated contracts. Some payers negotiate contracts that are based on diagnosis codes. Procedure codes, combination of both, or other payment models such as DRGS. Copyright 2012 to 2014 by American Hospital Association. All rights reserved.